Come give me the fire, me burn them man down them. Come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the water, me wash them and cleanse them. Come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the herb, make me go like it and heal them. Come give me the, come give me the, yo them conscience wrap round them neck like a rope and it tie in them. We now come here so free from them, oh yeah. Wrap round them neck like a rope and it tie in them. I give me the fire, make me burn them. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Give Me The Fire podcast show, yeah, hosted by myself, the comedian semi Cedar. right, now, if you watched the last shows, yeah, episode one and episode two, thank you so much, can we get a round of applause for the people that watch the show? God bless you all, God bless you all, now... Please support this show, like I say, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel and all of that good stuff. Please, we appreciate it so much if you do that, you know, just tell your friends about us. Because on this show, like I said, we're just kicking reels, you know what I mean? That's all we're doing here and trying to thought provoke, you know, trying to thought provoke, man, and get people to think more in this time where, where you know, it's COVID, it's lockdown. So it's isolation. A lot of people are home, they're bored. You know, I'm trying to get people to think, man. Not think about bullshit. Think about real shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this show is about. And even after lockdown, it will still be the same. It will always remain that. Yeah? Okay. So now I want to get into my first topic. Yeah? The first topic I want to talk about. Now, you know we're a deep show if you listen to the last two shows. And we don't hold back, like I said, you know, on my last show. So... First topic is, what is white privilege and does it really exist? Okay. Now for me, it definitely exists. Yeah. And for me, I would say white privilege is, you know, it's a um, societal privilege that benefits white people over non-white people in the same societies, you know. Like, particularly if, if um, you know, if they are otherwise under, you know, the same social, political or economical circumstances. Yeah. Like, for example, I don't know, like, it's hard to explain it. It's like going, like, you know, it's determining somebody's future because of the colour of their skin and things like that, like, I might go for, I'm a black man, innit? I might go for a bank loan, yeah, to open, say, a bakery or something. You get me? I've got all the credentials, I've got good credit, I've got everything, yeah? And the bank manager's white, yeah? And because of the colour of my skin, he turns me down for the bank loan, you know? And then a white man walks in after me and he gives it to the white man just because of the colour of his skin. Yeah, now I know that sounds... Like, cliche or whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean? But it's the truth, it's the truth. You've got people out there that do these things, man, you know what I mean? And it's to keep white people over non-white people, you know what I mean? And that's all it's to do, that's all it's to do. It's based on ignorancy and it's based on racism, you know, white privilege. It really, really is. And for me, yeah, it's just definitely the power to determine somebody's future. Because now, when I get turned away, you know, I could have pinned all my hopes on that. On me being able to open my bakery. Yeah, I've went to college, I've studied accountancy, I've studied business. You know what I mean? I've done, I've got everything, I've got all my papers. Now, my dream is to open my own bakery, you know. And, and, and you know, start a family business. Which is then going to help my future. Because that's something I could pass down to my kids. And then they can run it and pass the business down to their kids. And so on and so forth. You know, and this is now where all it takes is one no, you know. And then that crushes a man's future, man. Crushes a man's future, innit? You know, off, off the back of a man's hard work. You get what I'm saying? Because a man is black or Asian or, you know, he's, he's not white. So basically, he he will not get, he will not get it. And I just think to myself, you know, the white people that do this, 
yes, yeah, it's, it's wrong, it's wrong and it needs to stop. But it won't stop because it's a big thing, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's just a good thing that it ain't all white people that do it. It's not, you know, it's just a few white people that do it, man. You know what I mean? Like, it exists for every white person, but some white people are not into it. They're just not, you know what I mean? They believe in a fair world where, where you know, everybody's equal, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I've grown up with a lot of good white people like that. I'm fortunate to have grown up with a lot of good white people like that. You know, some of them are not in my life no more, and some of them are still in my life. You know, and I've met some good new ones, like my baby mum and, you know, people like that. They just, yeah, they just want everyone to have the same rights, you know what I mean? And the same rules apply to everybody. Not one rule for one person and another rule for the other. Do you know what I mean? That's not the kind of world we want to be living in, man. Where it's unbalanced. Everybody deserves the chance to have the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then that says something about the person. You know, if we can actually see everybody on the same level for what it's worth and then see them minute. you know what I mean see them take off from the start line and see how they end up and they're on the same level that's better isn't it it's got to be better you know but no with white privilege these people want to cheat you know what I mean they want to cheat you know I mean? they want to cheat by using white privilege and it's not fair it's not fair and they want to turn around and say, oh, no, what are you talking about? And deny it. You know what I mean? And I think that's bad, man. It's super bad, you know. And I just thank God for the white people that I know and get me and I grew up with that don't use it. They don't, they don't care about it. You have, they, don't know what they, they have no regards for it. It makes them sick to the fucking core stomach to know that some shit like that exists. You know, that um, determines... Somebody's future under the sky. It's not nice. And lightning and thunder on it. Yeah? Real talk. Lava. Brimstone. Earthquake. On white privilege. Real talk, man. Burn that. Put that on the fire. The man will have the fire dead. Holy man will yeah. lie slapped. Now. The next thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about. Why. You know. Why don't black teenagers. That, that go to college, work, or they're in university. Why don't they ever get the credit for doing the right thing? You know, that's what I want to talk about, man. Why don't positive black teenagers get any credit for doing the right things? You know, they always seem to talk about um, teenagers that are in a gang. You know, black teenagers that are in a gang. That's all they ever highlight, highlight, man. And you just think, hang on a minute, is there any good black teenagers out there that are working, going to university, going to college, you know, and, and they're doing all the right things, man. Yeah? Of course there is. Of course there is. Of course there is. Yes, there is. As I'm saying it, there's some good black teenagers out there. You know what I mean? They're doing the right things, not involved in a gang. Don't care about killing each other, yeah? It makes them sick to think about it, yeah? Like all they want to do is live a good life. Live, innit? They're not into dying. Yeah, we don't hear about those black kids, man, and I think that's sad, you know what I mean? That's sad, man, because at the end of the day, they're somebody's children too, you know? They are. And the parents must sit there and think, man, why don't my kids ever get any um, mention for the work that they, they do, you know? For how good they are, you know? Why, why is it always the, the kid across the road who's wearing a bandana and he's involved in a gang that gets a mention? You know what I mean? And, you know, for me, I think it's because they don't want good black teenagers. They don't. They want bad ones so they can label them and say, look, oh, see, 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 don't be like that. Don't be like that, you know? And, and, and they can say to their kids, don't be like that, don't be like that. Yeah, which is blatantly obvious. You know what I mean? If you're a good kid, you come from a good home. It's obvious don't be like that guy, innit? Yeah? Who probably doesn't come from the same home as you and definitely has his reasons for being in a gang and, 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 and definitely has his reasons for being the way that he is. Now, I'm not saying it's good, but they have their reasons. I'm from the hood, innit? I know how it is. 
Yeah, I could have been wrapped up in gangs and all this and that from way back. You know what I mean? Yeah, being in my late thirties. You know what I mean? I've done a couple of naughty things on the come up. Never in a gang, mind you, but you know, a couple of mates done some naughty things on the way up. You know what? Well, I got to dip my toe in certain things, and I, I got the decision. I got the chance to say I'm never doing that again. You know what I mean? Worse being of Rastafarian faith. You know, coming from single parent household, I never ever wanted to meet my mum. You know, have to cry over me. You know what I mean? So, so I didn't get involved deep in in things, man. Yeah, I know people involved in it. You know, I knew people involved in it. I don't even know people involved in it anymore because I don't really talk to people like that no more. You know, from the times I was coming up in like the mid nineties, you know what I mean? Like ninety six, seven, eight, you know what I mean? Ninety nine. From ninety six to ninety nine, two thousand. Yeah, that was my time in it. That was my time. If I weren't doing crazy shit then, yeah, I was not gonna start doing it now. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, yeah. I just think to myself, <coughs> excuse me, whoa. Yeah, no corona, just got put that out there by the way. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just think to myself, man, I was always on the fringe, you know what I mean? But I never ever went deep in to the, the bad boy life, but I know about it, you know, I know about it. You know? And I know why kids get involved in gangs and things like that. Although I don't agree with it, I know why they do it, you know. But I think they get highlighted too much, man. And we need to start highlighting the youth them that go to school. You know what I mean? They spend their time and their hard graft in school, yeah? Five, six years in university, come out and get the job that, that they studied for. Yeah, and they're a good success story. They only need a round of applause, man. So, yo, give the kids in university a round of applause for me right now. You know, and the good kids that work and they come out of college and don't want nothing to do with it again, give them a round of applause and give me the fire, man. <laughs> Salute you. Salute you. Keep doing what you're doing, kids. Keep doing what you're doing. And if you are involved in a gang, you know what I mean? Man, you know, I'd, all I'd say is just try your best and, and, and get out, man, because you know what? You know what I mean? There's no future in it, man. Yeah? No future in that shit. You know what I mean? All you're going to do is remain in the hands of Babylon for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Yeah? And that's it. You don't want to be there. So, yeah. That's what I'd say to that. Now, next topic I want to talk about is parents who have children and then walk away from their responsibilities as a parent. Yeah? Now you've got some parents. This is men and women. You know, it's more probably common, like, more commonly found with men. You know, like the father walks away from the child or the children, you know what I mean? And um, um, neglects his responsibilities and his duties as a parent. You know, it's mainly men. But, you know, I'm going to say that there's got to be some women out there that do it as well. I've done it as well, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm a talk for both sexes, man. You know what I mean? It's not a good thing to do. You know what I mean? It's not a good thing to do at all. If you've made a baby, you know what I mean? You have to um, do right by your baby, man. You have to do right by your child. You know what I mean? And even if it means that you and the missus don't work out and things like that, you know what I mean? you still got to be there for your child. And it's hard. It's hard. It is hard. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not easy when you and the missus don't get on, you know, like, and there's a lot of water under the bridge, you know, but you still got to see each other, you still got to communicate for the child, and that will always remain, and it? That, that don't go away, you know what I mean, that's a lifetime commitment, as soon as, um, fellas, you know, as soon as you breed a woman, and then you put your seed in a woman, you've now gave that woman part of your soul, you get me, and then she grows that, you know, in her body, in her belly, in it, yeah, and then she pushes this piece of you out, you know what I mean, and, 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 you know, yeah, man, it's, it's a, it's a joy, it's a blessing, you know what I mean, from, from God, really, that's why it takes so long, 
you know what I mean, and things like that. And yeah, you have to look at the good things, man. You have to look at the good things, you get me? When, when you have a you, you know. You can't look at all the negative things. Like I said, even if you and your woman don't get on, the you, the you, that's you, in it. That's a part of you. So you have to always be there for your youth, man. You always got to be there for your youth. You know what I mean? And like I said, I understand the politics between a man and a woman. I've been there with my missus. You know, fortunately, you know what I mean? We went up there right, right now. We're best friends. You get me? But I've been there where, you know, I um, wasn't talking and I know what it's like. I couldn't communicate properly and my daughter's in the middle of it. And uh, it's not nice, man. It's not nice. You know what I mean? So I'm talking from experience, man. You know, I always got to try and do right by you, no matter what. Always be there for you. You don't want the next um, 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 man coming in, raising your youth because you weren't there. You know what I mean? That's a killer. And then um, with the women as well, you know, you don't want another woman coming in and raising you because you weren't there. You get me? Because when you've got kids, it's not easy, man. You know, so if the other party runs off, yeah, and doesn't take care of the responsibilities, it's then hard now for that person as a single parent to do it, innit? By themselves. So then, down the line, they're going to need help, innit? Somebody's going to come in and help, you know, and do the things that you're supposed to be doing. So, yeah, always bear that in mind, man. You know what I mean? Always bear that in mind, you know. And I understand, like I said, I understand things can go sour. I do, you know. But it's th these dudes as well that... that that don't take care of the responsibilities, like they breed up a gal, and then whatever happens between them and the gal happens, and then they run off and breed again, and then run off and breed again, and then you run off and breed again. It's like, it's like breeding, man, you know? That's what I'd say. That's what I'd say, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's not fair, really. You're just running off and breeding, man. It's nuts. It's nuts, still. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's madness because you're going to have kids now that bump into each other, they're brother and sister and they don't even know. They're brother and brother and they're beefing each other. Yeah, they don't even know because dad didn't, you know, make them know each other and things like that. And they walk past each other on the street. It's not nice. It's not nice. It's happening every single day. Yeah, because grown-ups are not taking responsibility and get me for um, their actions, man. And yeah, I'll leave it on that note there. Right, we've got to wake up as parents, because now I'm a parent, you know, I'm fresh in, by the way, you know what I mean, I just had my daughter last year, June, me and my missus, and, you know, but like, yeah, now I'm a parent, man, I'm just trying to talk to all parents, I'm not talking for you, I'm talking to you, you know what I mean, so yeah, that's it, yeah, just be responsible parents, you get me, and, and take care of our kids no matter what, yeah, alright, so that's that one, wrapped up, now the last, thing I want to talk about, yeah, the last topic, is obesity in children, yeah, like obesity in children, and how, how does it start, yeah, how do, how do we allow our kids to get so big, you know, from like an early age, man, and some of these kids now, man, they're looking really, 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 really big, like, you know, from young, from young, some of them are all like, eight and, and ten and and nine and you know in between like even all five and that even five you know what i mean fucking it's looking all bloated from 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 eating the wrong foods man and being allowed to eat the wrong foods because you can't blame the kids yeah they're children innit? and until they're adults they're being supervised by somebody or they're supposed to be being supervised by somebody in it they're supposed to have guardians, you get me, um, controlling what they eat and how much they eat, you know, but the kids that are old, suffering from obesity and they have obesity problems, I don't think the parents are, 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 are controlling their eating habits, man, do you know what I mean? They've let their eating habits blow out of proportion, you know what I mean, and it's like, for whatever reasons, man, because some of the parents are just, they're, they're, they're lazy, do you know what I mean? Like, they're lazy, or, or you know, they're selfish, you know what I mean? I'm trying to find the right words, because I've been around some of these parents, you know, I've been involved with women that have had kids, you know, I've stepped in a relationship and the kids are there, 
Uh, I'm seeing uh, the woman's running their kid, or the kids, and they're just being allowed to kind of do what they want to do. Do you know what I mean? Eating wise and whatnot. And they're tight, they're, like the kids are telling the mum what they're eating. It's not the other way around. You know, and the mum, like this is where the selfish side comes in. She's like, yeah, whatever, just do it. Just to get the kids off of her back. You know what I mean? And it's like, come on, man. Come on, man, you can do better than that. Do better than that, surely. Do you know what I mean? Like, how selfish are you? You know, like, I've seen the kid come to my mum, am I allowed to eat this? Yeah, 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 do what you want. And it's like, you ain't even look to what the kid's fucking showing you. Because if you looked at what the kid's showing you, you'd know that maybe he shouldn't really be eating that right now. Or she shouldn't really be eating that right now. Because they're fucking suffering from obesity. You know, it's too much of that kind of food. Why are they the size they are? You know, but some of these parents, some of these parents do not. Um, they do not acknowledge it. You know what I mean? They do not um, acknowledge that the kid needs a strict diet. You know, need to help the kid needs a healthy diet, man, and not not just to being allowed to eat what they want to eat, when they want to eat it, how much times they want to eat it. You know, they shouldn't be allowed just to get them off of your back. You know. Because your back is important, and your back's more important than your kid's fucking health, man. Wake up. You know, by the time the kid's 18 and all that, you know what I mean? Like, you know, God forbid they fucking, they don't drop out before that because of it, man. Seriously, some of these kids need to, some of these parents really, really need to wake up, man. Because you got them eating garbage during the daytime, you know, and then they might go to school and eat fucking garbage. They come home and eat garbage, you know. That's just 24 hour rotation of garbage. You know what I mean? And I just think, nah, nah man. Start putting some 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 healthy um foods inside your kids' diet. Start making them um exercise more and get them off the computers. Because they'll be eating crazy amounts of food and they're jumping on the computer. Yeah? And sitting down, you know, and playing the computer. You know, exercising off the food or things like that. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's how they become big. That's how they become big, man. And now you've got the government. All they're doing is fucking um, pushing out this just eat message. Just eat, just eat their nasty fucking fat shit food. Yeah? And don't cook. Don't cook. Yeah? Just cook. Stop fucking just eating. And fucking making the government rich. You know, I want a bonfire on just eat. And all these fucking apps. Pussy your apps. Bonfire on them, man. They're nasty. Yeah, man could be scratching his balls in that kitchen, just fucking picked his ass and his nose, and now he's wrapping up your food, man. Think about that, yeah? And sending that round to you. Yeah, and you're happily paying for it, yeah? Because you're a mug. Yeah, fucking learn how to cook, you whatless parents. Nasty cunts. And give your fucking youths a proper diet. Yeah? Stop being selfish. Yeah? And that's it, man. My name's Semi Cedar. I hope you like. Give me the fire. Episode 3, yeah, and you know what I'm saying, it's only going to get hotter, so look out for episode 4, you get me, because I'm on some real leadership right now, I'm tired of it, you get what I'm saying, yeah, I was drained from a leader's ball bags, yeah, so you're only going to get leader number 2 coming through now, you know what I mean, and that's where it is man, that's where it is, I'm a speaker, you get me, so learn that, I speak, yeah, and the only way you're going to get me to stop speaking if you cut out my tongue or kill me, so come and shoot me man. Yo, send me see that. <laughs> Hello, well, I'm out. Yeah? I'm done, man.